Yo, this is also here today. I'll be showing you how to optimize your game, allowing it to be better. I know Warzone 4 Reloaded or Season 4 Reloaded is terribly, terribly optimized. It is terribly optimized. You can't run frames. Your games are good, but let's just get into the fixes. So first, you want to go download MV Clean Install. It'll be in the description. The links I'll use in this video will all be in the description. So first, you want to click Install Best for My Driver. You want to do Recommend It. Then you want to click next so this will load all the drivers and everything you need once it's done i'll go to the next step So once this is done, you want to click perform a clean install, click next, and then install the drivers. I'm not going to do so because I already did it before and I am using Shadow Play. But if you do not use Shadow Play, you want to scroll down in those settings. You want to scroll down in those settings and uh, do so. So next, what you want to do is you want to open your NVIDIA control panel settings. So you can go to NVIDIA control panel, open. Once this is open, you want to go to this and you want to use use the advanced 3D setting image settings. But before that, it should be auto set to this, but you want to set it to performance. So just in case it doesn't work or just in case you set it to performance and this doesn't this doesn't turn on or in any case it may be this is not working, it will auto set to performance. But you want to do have this turned on, use the advanced 3D settings. Then you want to click manage 3D settings. Follow all these settings. I will show you everything. Slow the video down if you need. Pause it. But these are the settings you need to be using. Once you use all those settings, you want to go to Program Settings, look up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You want to make sure Low Latency Mode is on. It allows for Low Latency, obviously, as it says. Makes your game run a lot smoother, less lag, less input lag. So you want to make sure Low Latency Mode is on. After that's done, I don't, like, I didn't change anything, so I just click No, but of course you will have to apply first before you do it. Click Apply. But after that, you want to go to your Windows Settings. Click this, or click this, window settings. Then you go to your system. Now you want to go to focus assist. Make sure this is off. You don't have no notifications, no notifications in the background while you're playing. You have notifications turned on, so you make sure focus assist, turn this on. Go to storage. Make sure you clear your drivers, clear any of the things you don't need. Make sure storage since it's on because having a, a lot of clutter in your drives where your game is playing at or your game is not, it doesn't have much space. It, doesn't give it much space to work around so you make sure you want to turn storage and so on so it can delete some stuff for you and delete some apps applications as well next you want to go to your apps you make sure like I said make sure it's and see what is the biggest thing you have and you don't need take that off then you want to go to update and security check for Windows updates this can cause lag and driver and input lag and anything it can cause lag as well if you're not up to date and there's a windows update so make sure you have your windows 8 updates on next you want to go to privacy go down to background apps make this off turn this off let's app run in the background you don't want any apps running in the background while you're trying to play your game it can cause clutter the lag delay anything so you don't want this on you want this off to make sure your game is running smooth you don't have anything else running in the background 
that's all that for those settings next you want to go to your game you want to go to your in-game settings so these are my in-game settings I turned the graphics to minimum here well at first I use 1920 by 1080 although my monitor's negative is this is my native for my monitor. This is where it's supposed to be at, but I do 1920 by 1080 for more frames, and I upscale it by using image upscaling, as you've seen in my NVIDIA control pedal settings. Now, if you don't want upscaling, you just run, you just want to run your monitor or your PC at the natural display resolution it's at. Turn image image upscaling off or image scaling off because it will cause performance issues. If you have that on, it'll be upscaling when it's already at its max. So you want to make sure you're going to turn that off if you don't want to run at the default resolution. Next, you want to go to custom or quality. Click minimum. Once you go to minimum, make sure this is at 80. Then you want to turn this, which is spot cache, to ultra. You need ultra on. It allows for better frames, a lot of performance. People think you just turn everything to high, but no, you need this ultra, or they want you to turn everything to low, but you need this ultra because this helps a lot. Next, of course, film grain off to make your game look better because this is not all about performance. You also want your game to still run and look good. Make sure you turn this off. As you see in my videos, my, my game looks smooth. These are the settings I run on. So make sure you want this off. This causes performance issues, view, and this is just, you really don't need anything here. This is just personal preference, to be honest. Okay, so that's all for my Warzone settings. Now, a lot of issues I've been experiencing also with my shader optimizations may have got stuck. So if your shader optimizations get stuck, you click restart shader optimizations and they'll go way faster. If they get stuck at one or whatever they get stuck at, you want to click restart shader optimizations and restart your game, open it again, um, let them run. So for the next setting, which is the last, you want to go to your HW monitor. You want to download HW monitor. Make sure the issue is not actually in your frames or sorry, it's in your temperature or your CPU because before my PC was running terribly, it was because my CPU was overheating. I had to get a new fan. If you have a liquid cooler, they go out or a liquid fan or whatever, they go out. So you want to make sure you have your fans are good. And you can also overclock your PC. So another setting, you can overclock your PC. You want to go to system. Actually, sorry, you want to go to system. You want to go to gaming. And then you want to go to game mode. Turn game mode on. It says when game mode is on, window optimize your PC. Actually, window optimize your PC for play. So you want to turn this on. Then you go to graphic settings. Make sure this is high performance. And have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It reduces latency, improves performance, and you have to restart. So basically, this is kind of overclocking your PC or making your GPU run a little faster. It'll put a little more strain on it, but it should be good if you have a good G GPU. If you have a low P GPU, this is what you usually need to use because this it basically overclocks it, making it a little stronger. There's a different ways to overclock it. You probably look up a video on that if you want to. This is just for what we're going to. But you want to make sure this is high performance and you have to browse it make it high performance so um basically that's it for this video thank you for watching thank you for doing anything liking commenting, and subscribing if this helped you let me know in the comments below um if you need any help tell me in the comments below or join my discord server at me in the server and let me know if you have any problems the game has been running bad it's poorly optimized right now so even if it hasn't helped you a lot this is just some fixes that help me more because I know a lot of people have been asking me um, how is your game running on Warzone 2 after the update so this is just how I fixed it or attempted to make it run a little better so I thank you for watching and I'm out